Oh, oh, oh. Hi everyone, how are you today? You know what? I hope everybody had a great winter. I had a fabulous winter. It was a long one though, but you know something? Let me tell you. I went out this morning here at the North Pole and the birds are singing and it's a beautiful spring day here at the North Pole. You know, I love the winter and I love Christmas and everything, but after I take my little break, I like to get out and I like to do stuff outside. And it's beautiful out there today. And let me tell you what made me really happy. One of the first things that I saw when I was outside was a little caterpillar walking along a leaf. And that sure shows me that it's a sign of spring. All the animals come to life. The birds are singing. Everybody's just having a great time out there. But that little caterpillar, you know, it just made me realize that spring is finally here. You want to know something? I enjoyed that little caterpillar. I sat and I watched it and it walked along the leaf and I thought, you know what? I'd like to sit down and draw that caterpillar. And you know what? I hope everybody here likes to draw too because that's what my whole hobby is all day long. I design toys, but sometimes I like to relax and just draw things. So why don't you follow me over to my easel and we'll sit down and try to draw a caterpillar, okay? Come with me. <laughs> okay, kids, here we are at my easel. And I think we're going to draw that caterpillar. You know, I've, I've had that caterpillar on my mind since I saw it this morning. And I've got a real easy way of doing this. You know, I think everybody can draw circles. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to turn this caterpillar into a few circles. And then we'll color them in. Because you know what? I seen him moving along that leaf and boy, he sure did go. And I'm thinking that all of those little circles or parts of his body are helping him move across that leaf. So I think everybody knows how to draw a circle. So we're going to start right here. And this is going to be his head. Okay. And you know what? My friend Diesel here. Can you draw a caterpillar diesel? Because <laughs> you sure are watching close, aren't you? Hey, okay. So diesel, let's do another, let's do a half circle this time. we we'll just come right up to that one. There we go. What do you think of that? Did you want to, oh, you don't want to do that, do you? Okay, you just keep watching, all right, diesel? Because diesel was with me this morning when we both seen that caterpillar. Okay, so we're going to do another half circle like this. You know, these are all parts of the caterpillar's body. And you see them move like this. It's because they're so flexible through all these little joints here. Let's do another one right here like this. And you know what? We'll just finish this one off right there. Okay, so... Now, you know, a caterpillar, one of the things that helps it see is a thing called a tentacle. And they're little things that come right out of the top of his head like that. And this is what he feels where he's going with. Okay, so we're going to do another one right here. And you know something? With all of these little parts of his body, how's he going to move? What do you think, Diesel? You think we should put some feet on this little fella? Okay, so let's put a couple feet right here like this. Okay, and we're just going to pretend he's walking along that leaf. All right, there you go. So kids, this caterpillar, he's going to grow up and you know what he's going to grow up to be? He's going to grow up to be a monarch butterfly. Okay, there's different types of cat caterpillars, but this particular one that we're going to draw, because my favorite butterfly 
is a monarch. I just think they're one of the most beautiful butterflies out there. So we're going to turn this little caterpillar into a monarch butterfly. And you know what? There's a real specific color for these ones. But anyway, you know what? For now, let's put a couple eyes on them like this. See how we're doing so many circles here? There's five circles here. And there's two more for his eyes. And let's put, you know what? He's as happy as I am today. So what do you say we put a little smile on him? Hey, there you go. And you know what? Let's do another circle right in here. There we go. What do you think, Diesel? Does that look like the caterpillar we seen this morning? Ho, 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 ho. I think it's pretty close, isn't it? But you know what? It did have some color to it. Now, monarch butterflies, the caterpillar that starts out as a monarch butterfly, or that starts out before it's a monarch butterfly, has a few specific colors in it. You know, you see different ones out there, but this one, we're going to take a little bit of green. It's kind of got a greenish yellow tinge to them. They're beautiful. Beautiful little things. So let's take that. You know what? We're going to do every little section here with this. This is just kind of a green color to it. You know, I think everybody knows that caterpillars, they like to make cocoons. But this guy, he makes what is called a chrysalis. So if you happen to see one of these caterpillars, this color, and he might be clinging to a leaf, if he's in the shape of a J, you know what a J looks like? You know what? He's probably getting ready to turn into a monarch butterfly. And I think it's about 12 days that he could be in his chrysalis or his little house that he makes himself before he turns into a beautiful monarch butterfly. But this is all the colors that you'll see on the monarch. And you know what? What do you say we give him a little bit of color in his head here too, okay? Right? He's a pretty happy looking guy, isn't he? Hey, we'll put some green in there with him. There we go. He's pretty happy. You know what? He's as happy as I am because it's spring. We can get out and do some yard work and listen to the birds. And Diesel and I, we like to go on long walks and, and just kind of check out how the North Pole's doing. Ho, 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 ho. Even Rudolph goes with us once in a while. You know what, now this even has a little black stripe down the middle of them here. You see that, just like that. That's a pretty little caterpillar, isn't it? Hey, I bet you didn't know they were that colorful. Now this little guy will hang upside down on the back of a leaf or on what they call milkweed. They like milkweeds. And their little, their plants you'll see out and they've got uh, little pods that they like to hang on. But it's, everybody know what a J looks like? If you see this guy just kind of hanging like this, you know that in about 12 days, he's gonna turn into a beautiful monarch butterfly. But he looks pretty happy right now, doesn't he? Hey, walking along on his leaf. Maybe we should do a leaf on there, do we? You know what? Let's just do this. You can do this if you want to. But I'm just going to give him a little place to walk here, okay? There we go. He's walking on a leaf. There you go. That's pretty close, isn't it, Diesel? You know what? 
Now, does everybody know how to spell caterpillar? Do you know Diesel? How many letters do you think is in his name? Me? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's start it out here and we'll go C A T E R P I L L A Oops R ho, ho, ho. two four six eight ten eleven different letters. Now does everybody know what they are? Okay. I'll tell you what, let's start right here. Now, I just said all the letters, so we're going to start right at the beginning with a C. Okay, it's a nice C. And the next one we're going to do is an A. Okay. And caterpillar. So we're going to do a T. And if anybody has any trouble, the first part of this spells cat. All right? And the next letter we're going to do is an E. And then an R. So now we have catter. Okay? So the next letter is going to be a P. And then an I and an L, and an L, and another A, and then another R. There. Oh, 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 oh. Diesel, I think the other elves need us out in the workshop. You know what, for right now, because we're pretty well done our caterpillar, I'm going to sign my work here. Everybody needs to sign their work, okay? All right. There we go. Now, if you want to come back and see this little fella here turn into a monarch butterfly next time, why don't you like and subscribe to our channel? And come back and we'll finish this off and we'll do a nice monarch butterfly. But for now, you know what, kids? I got to go to the workshop. Are you coming with me, Diesel? Ho, 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 ho. Let's go.